Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Kingdom Pets Channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Australian working Kelpie. This breed's ancestors are three pairs of collies that were imported to Australia by early settlers. From these six dogs, with the addition of other Scottish working dogs, a breed was developed that was apt at working with large herds of sheep with great efficiency. The Australian working Kelpie can work for hours at a time without growing tired, even in the harshest conditions. As they are very dexterous and intelligent dogs, Kelpies can move enormous flocks easily. They require lots of exercise and mental stimulation in order to be happy and healthy. Going into the history of the Australian Kelpie, one of the interesting things is that the Australian working Kelpie descended directly from simple black dogs that were known as Collies. The word Collie has the same root word as call and Collier or ship. Some of these Collies were imported to Australia in the early 19th century for stock work and were crossbred with other types of dogs such as the Dingo. The goal was to produce a dog that can manage sheep without direct human supervision. Today's version of the Collie was not established as a breed until about 10 to 15 years after the Kelpie was established. The first official Border Collie was not established in Australia until the year 1901. This amazing dog, the Australian Kelpie, or just simply a Kelpie, is an Australian sheepdog capable of mastering and driving with little or no guidance. It is a medium sized dog and it comes in a variety of colors. The Kelpie has been exported throughout the entire world and is used to master livestock, primarily sheep, cattle, and goats. The obvious characteristics of these dogs is that they are described as intelligent, friendly, energetic, loyal, alert, and very eager. The types of colors they come in is black, fawn, chocolate, black and tan, cream, brown or blue. And their weight ranges from 14 kilos to 21 kilos and that is both for the female and male and the height ranges from 46 to 51 centimeters for male and female breeds are 43 to 48 centimeters. So looking at this dog at a glance is a type of dog that is very easy to train, they are very affectionate, playful, they are amazing with children and other dogs and they require mid to little grooming. Heading over to the medical conditions of these dogs, one of the things to be aware of is the PRA which is progressive retinal atrophy which is a retinal deterioration causing partial to total blindness. Other than that the Kelpie is a relatively healthy breed with very few hereditary problems. The Kelpie has been bred to be hardy so they will potentially have very few health issues throughout their entire life. But some of the other things to watch out is the hip dysplasia and the other thing is to watch out for is the cerebellar apitrophy as they may exist in this breed at some time, especially when they get older. And some interesting facts about the Kelpie is that they are able to travel more than 50 kilometers in a single day. Like their close relatives, the Border Collie, the Kelpie is an intimidator. The way it works is that they lock eyes with an animal to get it to move. But on the other hand, unlike its relative, the Border Collie, the Kelpie also nips at the heels of herd animals to get them to move in the right direction. So overall, this dog is an amazing dog, whether it's your first time owning a dog or you've been with dogs all your life. They are amazing, very energetic. They require a lot of walking around and exercise and mid kind of grooming, but they are amazing dog nonetheless. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode.